Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be taking a look at this Racer Star motor. It's the BR2403 2300 KV motor. This is an unusual size. Um, a lot of the mini quad motors are 22 size, like a 2204, 2205, 2206, something like that. Uh, this has, um, obviously it's going to be a wider motor, but it's not as tall. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of power this motor produces compared to, say, like a 2204 motor. And that's exactly what I'm going to um, try and do. I'm going to put this on my ZMR250, which currently has a 2204 motor on it. And uh, this is it right here. Let's see if I can get that into the shot. So this ZMR250 and these original 2204 2300 kV motors are the um, first mini quad motors I've ever had and I've crashed this thing a lot I don't even know how many times I've crashed this thing and the motors still work fine um, there's nothing wrong with them there's, they don't get hot the bells are a little loose just because I've used them so much but the thing flies perfectly fine and these are some pretty cheap motors. I think I got them off of eBay. Uh, I think maybe it was like 30 bucks for a set of four. So, um, just curious to see how much power this thing has because these these racer star motors are rated uh, two to four S, but the the spec data that's on the web page um, only covers uh, five and six inch propellers on 3S and uh, this ZMR250 runs this 2204 motor on a 6x45 dial prop and I, I fly this on 3S because I think uh, one of my components on here is only rated to 3S and if I go 4S it'll smoke so I forget which one but that's the reason why I only run 3S in this and so that's the test that will run. I'm not sure uh, why they don't have any 4S data for this motor on the web page because they, they say it's rated uh, 2 to 4S, but there's no 4S um, uh, motor data in terms of like performance and thrust test and that kind of stuff. But um, I'm going to do a quick thrust test with the thrust stand that I got to see how, how much power this thing is actually producing on 3S and a 6 inch prop uh, compared to the 2204 motor. So like the other Racer Star motors, it, there's not a lot that comes with it. You get the motor, you get a, a bolt style uh, prop nut in here and uh, you get these screws, there's, there's, there's eight of them, four uh, sort of shorter screws, I think those are eight be six millimeters, and then I think the longer ones are eight. I should probably measure this, I'm not 100 sure, but you get two sets for, I think, two um, four different size frames if you have a three millimeter or four millimeter carbon frame. So there's a closer look at the motor windings from the top. Uh, pretty typical. Like the other race trim motors, a lot of motors out there. Uh, not bad, not great. Pretty average. Here's what it looks like from the bottom. And you have a, a C clip with a bushing there. Um, I think there's a set screw somewhere here. Let's see, where that, would that be? Yep. So there's a set screw right there. You know, the, the motor is brand new and the bell is, is on there tight. Um, spinning this. It's very smooth. Uh, no, no issues with the bearings. Obviously, it's brand new, so there shouldn't be. If you look at the uh, magnets and the distance between the magnets and the stator, it's pretty, pretty narrow. It's not as wide of a gap as I've seen in some of the other race train motors. So let's we'll see. Uh, what kind of power this produces. There's some, uh, you see that blue stuff there? That's, uh, I think it's called balancing mud or balancing goop. They're, they use that to balance the motor out at the factory. So you can see there that, that pretty good tolerances between this, the magnets and the stator. So this is going to be interesting. This is a 2403, 20, so it's wider but shorter than the 2204. So I'm very curious to see what kind of power this produces, so let's, uh, let's check that out. Okay, I got the uh, 2204 motor off of my ZMR250. 
just to do a little side by side comparison here, you can see that uh, 2204 is a little bit taller, but probably not as wide, but you see here, pretty close in size. Let me, let me measure this with the caliper. Now, obviously the size of the bell is probably not as important as the size of the stator, but it's good. It's going to be a little bit harder to measure. So 28.4 and 29.3, so just a touch wider. So let's see what this thing weighs. Comes in at 23.6 grams. And here's the 2204. 24.3 amps. This weighs more, even though it has less uh, motor wire. Interesting. So this is the first time I've uh, actually had the motor off of there in a while, and I'm pretty amazed that this motor actually still feels pretty smooth even after all those crashes. So even though this is a really dirt cheap motor, um, it's held up pretty well to a lot of crashes. And it's really dirty. I haven't even done any maintenance, no oils or any oiling or anything like that. So, just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's no good. Not necessarily. So, let's go through some uh, thrust testing now.